This is John Tucci with Lake Savers. Here in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, at Lake Heritage, our project lake on the East Coast, where uh, what you're looking at is perhaps the most impressive, most unprecedented turnaround of a lake that we've been able to identify in, in North America and perhaps beyond. This lake has been classified as hypereutrophic, which means it's among the most impaired lakes in the country. We started in the fall of 2015 with our whole lake aeration program. You can see one of our boils boiling right in the foreground here. Um, we, uh, we were hoping to get the lake into condition through the fall and spring of 2015 and break the cycle of harmful algal blooms on this lake in 2016 and we absolutely failed. This lake was riddled with toxic blue-green algae in 2016 from about the middle of June through the end of October. You could literally see the water was uh, more like green paint than it was like water and we'll cut some video in so you can see it. Fast forward to the spring of 2017 and we were already starting to lose this lake to blue-green algae by May 1st. We had blooms in all the coves. Um, there was uh, uh, slicks and scums in most of the shallow areas of the lake. Uh, but fortunately over the winter we had gone back to the drawing board and did a tremendous amount of research on how we could break this cycle. And what we what we did was kind of go back to the future. Uh, we had tried multiple beneficial bacteria products on this lake in 2016 with a conventional approach of dosing the lake with powders and pellets to try and break the cycle. None of that worked. But the science of using beneficial microbes to take up nutrients in a lake and keep that from from the blue-green algae and break the cycle is sound. So we knew there had to be a better way to execute this kind of a strategy to see if we could impact the lake and make a positive change. So we developed over the winter working with a new biological partner an approach for dramatically increasing the amount of active product we can get into a lake like this in a short period of time and in the shot you can see one of our tanks on shore I've got multiple videos on this bacteria blast strategy that you can see on our YouTube channel we're here doing a maintenance dose on the on the inlets and coves of the lake today um, and quite frankly the that's really more preventative because the lake is absolutely clear 100 percent of blue-green algae there are no signs of blue-green algae growth there's no signs of scums in any of the coves the water clarity is better than they've had in decades on this lake and there has not been one drop of chemical algicides applied to get this lake under control it's all natural all working together with our aeration technology our new Back, beneficial bacteria blast technology and our inlet filtration technology which we've uh, deployed on the worst inlet points of nutrients to this lake. So what you're seeing here is a turnaround of a hypereutrophic lake into a lake that's perfectly safe for swimming, boating, skiing, you name it, fishing. The fishing's never been better on this lake. Uh, since we've deployed the program um, and we're into August with this strategy and still no signs that there is any threat of harmful blue-green algae for this lake and again folks this was among the most impaired lakes in the country it was off the trophic index scale in terms of its uh, it being hyper eutrophic uh, on the index and impaired for phosphorus, uh, cl uh, chlorophyll A, lack of dissolved oxygen, um, and now we have a clean, clear lake.
We've got great feedback now from this community. Believe me, it wasn't easy. They were very upset last year when we couldn't keep this lake clear. But we made a promise to them that we would do everything we could and whatever it takes to get this lake clear in 2017. We wanted to do that naturally with no algicides um, used in the lake. It was a big challenge. We were up to it and so far we've done it. We'll uh, continue to provide updates as we make it through the rest of this season and beyond, but um, this is not a fluke. This is, uh, it's too late in the year and this lake is too, uh, has too much of a history of blue-green algae for this to be uh, a lucky act of nature or anything other than our efforts using the integrated natural technologies and hard work of our Lake Savers team. John Tucci with Lake Savers. If you're interested in keeping your lake natural and getting it healthy without herbicides and algicides, contact us at 269-383-3400 or visit us at lake-savers.com.